Well, how are we doing today? Day after Labor Day, here it is a Tuesday. Yes, you're looking at a huge, and I mean a huge, huge clump of wildflower. This right here, after seeing this field cleared out, after they cut everything out and everything else, and all these clumps and clumps, a nice bright, pretty yellow, well, this is why I wanted to get bees for. And I'm not sure if you can see all the flowers in there bouncing around. There's butterflies, there's, uh, looks like a hornet. There's all kinds of other bees on them. Tons of butterflies though, I mean all over the place. There's a honeybee down there. That's one of the first few honeybees I've seen all year. If I can get to him without getting aggravated. Uh, I can't see my quicker. He's, he's flying around too fast. Well, it's a small little honeybee. Somebody's bees right here having some fun. But yeah, I mean, this is the area that I mow. So when I come back here, I can walk through here without getting some tall grass and everything else. This is also part of the property that I've been trying to get my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law to buy to put their place on. I mean, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not no massive acreage, but it's, it's every bit of an acre and a half, maybe two. But I mean, it's just huge. And if they don't buy it, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been kind of, not to use the word pressuring, but I've been kind of throwing all kinds of hints and everything else. But man, I mean, look at me. If I had a, if I had two beehives right now, I'm looking at some good, good honey. Because uh, I mean, I've seen these bloom out here before in the fall. Well, not fall. This time of year, late summer. Uh, but never as thick as what it is now. I mean, it, this is just like, it's like yellow heaven. So. And then, this is one of the paths that I haven't cut out, but you can tell by looking down that way that I've, you know, I've, I've been through here a few times in the spring and summer. I just haven't hit this path yet, but yeah. And then here's all the nice, beautiful wild thistle. Thistle and bees make great honey. This is just one little small cluster area of the thistle. I think a lot of thistle and honey makes it smell really good. Man, look at all these waves and waves of yellow flowers. If I had a at least one beehive, which I know you need at least two, even if I had one, I'd have enough honey for next spring that uh, I'd be on hog heaven. Hey, look, here's a, oh, I scared him off. There was a little, little honey bee there. I came up beside him and scared him off. Let's see if I can find him again. Looks like him right down there on that flyer. No, nope, it's not him. Is that him? No, nope. he's flying here somewhere. There he is. I can't get him on camera though. He's too small and too fast for me. But yeah. I mean, it's just everywhere, even over here. And then here's one of the one of the better things too. I think after this starts to go to seed, I'm going to take as much of this as possible and sprinkle it on my yard. Even though it's goldenrod, and a lot of people are allergic to it because of the pollen. I mean, you know, I don't mind having a little bit of diversity in my yard of wildflowers and weeds because other things enjoy it too. I mean, look at all the potential of a beehive would have out here. 
and just as far as you can see in this in this field anywhere you look there's flowers whether it be ragweed uh, golden goldenrod whatever this form of a daisy is or I don't know black-eyed Susan but it's, it's some kind of flower in, the, in, in that family form and then right here look at all the thistle I'm going to zoom in for you I mean look at all those little purple heads of thistle and it goes from there all the way over to here and that's in, in non-camera form that's about a about a 20 foot circle from there and then there's more back there I'm going to zoom out Here's more thistle. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I wish I could have a plant to have a flower like that and not tear you up in the process. I think my next tattoo, I'm going to get me a tattoo of a thistle. But I mean, look at that. Look at cluster heads there. They're just. Now there's some over there that are way taller than I am. I'm going to zoom in some more. There we go. There they are. There's the great big heads of thistle. That plant right there. The top of that, I would say it's every bit 13 to 14 foot tall. And that right there tells you it's an old plant to be that tall. Or at least an old base of it. And then here's where I pick a lot of my big old fat blackberries. Right in here. But I mean, you think this, this wildfire here missed a bunch of thistle? Man, oh man, it'd be hog heaven for any bee. But this is this is the backfield, and this for this time of year when there's nothing really productive going on, other than you know if you're as a bee or other type of insect gathering pollen and nectar for honey. Yeah, for sure next year. I, this year I pondered on it and I backed off to the idea about getting bees but uh, yeah after seeing this right here I'm gonna get two hives and uh, we're gonna have some bees next year guaranteed lock stock and barrel no fns or butts and uh, yeah we're getting bees because we're gonna have some honey and uh, if my and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law decide not to buy this property which I kind of hope they do, because we could have a lot of things. But she's starting to get she's starting to get into a lot of the things that I've been doing, like uh, gardening and seeding and uh, more of the traditional kind of I guess homestead kind of thing. So, and then. On top of there's all kinds of natural plants here that she could, you know, I could show her and she could learn off of. And I know, I know she's wanting a lot of acreage, which is fine. Uh, but my, like I told her too, the more acreage you have, the more property tax you got to pay. And there, and property tax never goes down; it always goes up. So. But yeah, I figured if I could get them to eyeball this place here and they can, you know, knock it down some in price because uh, right here where I'm standing is what they're, what they're asking for, it's 29,000 29, for it. And I figured if they could knock them down, say, say 5,000 on top of it, make it down to 24, they could get this piece here for 24 on top of what they're going to be putting their place on with and still come out ahead even though they don't they won't have a huge amount of acreage but uh we'll be close and uh we can kind of coincide with each other and trade off back and forth and me and matt which is her husband could 
easily go other places or I could teach him some new shit and we can do a lot more shooting and hunting and everything else and it'd be like a win-win for both of us but it's just with them having to decide whether they want it or not and even attempt it so but this here is going to be my my honey behaving next year as long as nobody buys the property and comes in and bulldozes everything so but I just wanted to share and I know Isabella's watching which is my niece and uh, if she's watching she can be like man that's a great place and kind of have Isabella kind of course her course her mama into it and if she doesn't that's fine it's no big deal Other than that truck going by, this is how quiet it is back here. But I just mainly wanted to show this big old huge cluster patch of yellow flyer that hopefully next year will be my bread and butter for beehives. And uh, yeah, kind of go off and go back and show you something else I've been doing so I'll see you here shortly